Today I'm gonna make a very simple walking animation in Game Maker Studio 2. Do you need to be an artist to be able to create um, animations in Game Maker Studio? And the answer is no. You have to get off this thingy where everything has to be perfect. That's not how you make a game. I mean, you know, your artistic expression. Yeah, there is no standard for artistic expression. Okay, so you can make your animation look like whatever the hell you want to make it look like. Okay, so so don't worry. So just go ahead and uh, open Game Maker Studio 2. So we have so we got a room, and uh, this is obviously too big. Let me just make this the usual size, 640. By 480 background let me change the background color to purple of course I always make everything purple now if you hold control and you scroll you can see that um, you can zoom in now if you push the middle button you can pan around okay that's if you have never used a game maker studio 2 uh, this program is $39 now but uh, it's $39 but you have to pay the $39 every year so it's like a $39 membership. I believe you can buy the full version of this program for the low price of $799. Actually, I think I think all the plugins is about $1,500. So we got the room. Let's make a new sprite. Right click and create new sprite. Control S seems to be the shortcut. Uh, we don't have to name this sprite. We can call it whatever you want. We're gonna go edit the sprite, edit image. I'm just gonna make anything. I don't even know what I'm going to make. I'm, just sort of making this as we go and as I mentioned this doesn't have to be special or anything so screw it man just draw anything um, we're gonna draw maybe a carrot I don't know what I just thought about drawing a carrot but I just did there you go terrible looking pixel art and uh, I honestly don't give I do not care looks terrible yes okay we're not really putting any effort into it and uh, we are doing this intentionally okay there you go. Maybe don't give them no eyebrows. Just make it easy to uh, easy to edit. Okay. Now, how do you fill the color? The, the bucket. The, the bucket. Oh, okay. Or carrots are normally not white, and if they are, you should probably not eat them. Now the eyes. Uh, I, oh, actually, actually, you know what? I'll take that back. I, I think there are white carrots. Yeah, I just remember. You know what? I'm gonna Google that. Sh and there are look at that i i knew there were white carrots somewhere <laughs> was, okay i was wrong there are white carrots look at that stuff <laughs> that's besides the point okay there is my carrot okay uh she needs um something green on top okay there you go carrot i should make a game like this should be called a uh, super vegetable adventure it would be awesome you will have to fight meat. I don't eat a whole lot of meat, actually. I'm more of a vegan person, but I but I don't care. Really. I, I eat anything. I guess I'm not a vegan. I'm like, uh, I eat anything, man. But I just rather eat more vegetables and fruits. There we go. Let's shade this a little bit. Just a little tiny bit. Not too much, because remember, you have to animate this a bunch of times. The less detail you put in this, uh, the easier it will be to animate it. And thus, the reason why I'm making these super cheesy graphics now. Now, pixel art usually you um, you avoid uh, this kind of stuff like this jaggedy edges and like as I mentioned for this example I just don't give it anyway for this example I don't care really right so so there you go that's my sprite there make a new object and here is where you can see all your sprites right now I only have one so sprite zero and no events so if you go to the room you can drag this here oh you can't actually you have to go to instances there is your carrot the carrot now this game engine is pretty good at zooming in so it's kind of like construct construct does a very good job at zooming in okay so we need another one maybe we can clone this uh, can we clone this uh, duplicate yes you can this will be a sprite one clone that call it sprite one and uh, I believe you can duplicate this too. Pace frame. Okay. This will be our walking animation. This will be so simple, man. You're going to be like, what? Where's the uh, eraser? Erase the uh, this year. You can actually enable onion skin. See how I say onion? Onion. I call them onions. Don't ask me why. I just do. Need the accent, I guess. <laughs> All right. Carrot, uh, take a step forward. Uh, we're gonna lose some height. 
Yeah. Where is my select tool? Bring this down a little tiny bit. How do you deselect? Control D doesn't deselect. Um, how do you deselect in Game Maker? There you go. Just click upside, I guess. Now let me play this. And it looks kind of stupid. Okay. So we have to modify that first frame. Let's go to the first frame. Oh, actually, we modified the second one. So let's go to the second frame. Take my eraser. Okay. And um, let's just paint this um, defeat like this. I want to drop the speed of the animation. Set the speed to maybe maybe eight frames per second. Take out the onion skin. Okay, that kind of works, but the arms are kind of weird there. This is. Stop the animation there. Take the eraser again. And uh, we're gonna paint this again like this. This is frame... Which frame is that? This is frame... Fix this a little bit. Try it again. That's not too bad. And uh, we're not looking for perfection. We just want a walking animation. Okay, so the bottom there. We gotta fix the bottom. I think... Uh, this has to uh, come up a little higher. Select tool. Put this tool here and bring this up a little higher. Okay, that might be a little too much. Play it. Okay, so it's not terrible, but this area seems like it's not moving. And bring the carrot a bit higher. And use the eraser again. Try it again, see if that works. And that thing's much better. Now to make simple pixel art games, that's all you need really. You don't need anything else. Uh, Alright guys, in the next video we are going to create the controllers for our animation. Alright guys, you notice that I post a lot of games and um, tutorials and all kinds of stuff. Subscribe. Now if you want to find more formal tutorials, head out to Spark World. That's my other channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye now. Welcome. Treasure 100 points. Say a key to open doors. Save potions for later use. Oh.
Oh, the potion. Warrior, your life force is running out. <laughs> <laughs> 